have you ever asked yourself if you can use the new OpenAI chat GTP, GPT, sorry, for answering questions um, from your own database or answering stuff which is not, um, yeah, a common use case like common uh, documentation which gets updated and um, new stuff because the open AI model is obviously trained um, onto a huge part of data but it doesn't know everything and sometimes it comes up with things which are not um, existing or not true so have you ever thought of using your own data knowledge or yeah documentation to ask questions i'm gonna show you how to do it in this video um, first of all we're gonna use the embeddings of openai um, to basically vectorize our text data so then we use the chroma vector database to store everything and then long chain to yeah ask questions about our um, data for that i'm gonna show you a python script i built and also a little script to pull data from from wikipedia so for example I'm going to write a master thesis about um, anomaly detection inside reliability engineering. And for me, it's uh, obviously interesting to know about algorithms. So in my example, I'm going to pull data from the English um, Wikipedia using their API, which is free. So you can basically use all um, Wikipedia articles and make your own knowledge base so you don't have to query Google and go on to um, Wikipedia read through um, so yeah I'm using the the algorithms isolation forest random forest and so on and so I'm gonna show you a little bit about the code we're basically uh, querying the, the API of Wikipedia with our topics, which are yeah, these topics here. They all executed in a loop. But um, yeah, sometimes our topic is not really uh, in a correct way. So Wikipedia maybe stores uh, isolation forest with a small letter uh, instead of a capital letter. So we always get a, a redirect link, um, which we're gonna find with the regex I wrote here. And then we, we uh, request the new and uh, suitable uh, redirected topic to get the actual data from Wikipedia. Um, yeah, these are some properties uh, just to make the class complete but we are using also the uh, merge content to plain text where we we we, we get obviously the, the data from wikipedia in a json response and in the json there is um, html but we don't want html because that's not really necessary i guess um, open ai would also be able to use that but we are not using that so um, I'm using the pypandoc library to convert the HTML to plain text which is done basically here um, with that one line um, and yeah from there on we save everything in our text file which is just uh, yeah the actual date and um what else is important to know yeah i think if you want to make up your own use case you just have to basically change the 
the constant here so you can add whatever you want let's say Simpsons uh, Python and JavaScript So then we can run this. No, wrong. Current file, we run it. Uh, we have an error here because of that. This is now generating our text input to vectorize and use it later on uh, with Langchain and ChromaDB. Um, which is also nice because then we can actually get formulas and all this kind of stuff already converted in uh, LaTeX, which you can see here the, the, the PyPandoc has actually difficulties to render it in plain text, but that's uh, a good thing. Um, as you can see, this is all the text. Uh, well, we could optimize it and yeah, that would make sense to optimize it because we, we, um, we vectorize in chunks, which is basically done by this line here, our text splitter. This one splits the the text into chunks so that we can basically get our context um, let me show you something embeddings yeah you can then see um, our vectorized data like this all this stuff which is maybe fantasy just as an example is a uh, green color and novel is whatever in this area and then our question gets um, vectorized and we can also say okay this uh, vector um, is similar to the other uh, vectors you can see here that's just an example but i hope you can understand and follow um yeah and from there on it basically uses the the neighbors the nearest neighbors and then from there on it goes back to open ai and from the context it can obviously answer your questions so um let's use let's use the nearest file which we just generated. Let's ask, can you tell me the basics about isolation forest? Uh, well, you need to uh, give your, your API key. I've done it already in my configuration, so that should work now. Yes, it seems to be working. And there's our answer. Isolation Forest is an algorithm for data anomaly detection initially developed by blah blah blah. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we can ask questions um, upon content pieces we provided. You can basically provide any kind of data like a PDF you're going to parse or a, a textbook or you could even uh, like use some other AI, um, create text out of my or natural language out of my video and use it. Let's ask another question. Uh, who's the, who invented Python? Let's see if that works.
Kido von Rossum invented Python in 1991. It seems like it's working perfectly. Let's ask another question about linear regression. Can you tell me the formula for linear regression? There we go. The formula for linear regression is, as you can see, um, so yeah, if you have any questions about ChromaDB, OpenAI embeddings, uh, Python, or something um, which is related to that video, please let me know in the comments. I would also appreciate um, if you like the video and follow me, so I'm going to um, increase the frequency of creating videos. I'm going to upload all the content and link it into the description thanks for watching and uh, enjoy enjoy the 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 new ai stuff and all the yeah crazy and interesting possibilities we have bye bye